Hey guys, this is John, and I am back with what may end up being the final version or versions or versions of uh, the item categorizer. Uh, so I wanted to just go over a couple of changes that uh, I came across. So um, I had a comment by Mr. Chris Fredmans in the final version categorizer video uh, and he mentioned that instead of using a game loading switch like we have here that we could just simply use a one tick generator to send a reset signal before uh, the item sorts so whenever you first input an item it's going to send a signal to do the reset and then that way we don't need the game loading switch and you don't need to hit any type of reset switch after you adjust your index, right? Uh, so this is kind of uh, an idea that uh, I came up with based on that principle. Um, so if we go over the original, you have the game loading switch and you know everything else. If you're familiar with my designs, then that's what it's going to look like. Um, and just want to clarify one of the reasons why I was a little bit worried about this design was because the way that I've seen these game loading switches work before, which just emulates the same behavior of every uh, index, right? So these are all going to be the same if you have items in here, which is sometimes when you load a chunk, uh, like I've seen it before with mine, in this creative world, like if you fly out and come back, I've seen it actually trigger the lamp here uh, to show that the, you know, the game loading switch has been uh, triggered, you know. So my only worry about this was that if you happen to make this across a chunk border, so just say that we have a chunk border right here, right? Uh, and for some reason, this chunk here decides to reload uh, then all of these potentially all of these chests that are in this uh, chunk here would get reset now if for some reason that chunk decided to reload and this chunk didn't then this uh, trigger would never go off which would never reset the system you know so all of your chests here would be would be fine but then everything on this side could be unlocked uh, so that was something I was a little worried about. Uh, but this takes care of that. Uh, so what we have here is a little change. And I don't know why I made it in yellow. Uh, it's kind of an accident. I wanted to make it in blue with just the changes in yellow. But, you know, if you can bear with the, the kind of, you know, bright, ugly nature of this thing. So anyway, changes in blue, what this is, we are simply using a time delay. Uh, so what happens is that whenever you first put an item in, it's going to power this time delay here. Uh, that's going to launch the minecart. And then after four ticks of delay on this repeater, that's going to turn off this comparator. Oh, yeah, I should have mentioned that. Whenever this gets a signal to launch the minecart, it's actually going to trigger the reset line, right? So if we can just demonstrate that here. Right, so it triggered the reset to make sure that all of the index chests are locked. Okay, and then after four ticks, it cut off the reset. Right. So the reason why this actually has to be a little bit more complicated than a one tick generator, why we have to have a time delay here is because if you do something like add an item, wait for that to be taken by the minecart, and then add another item, what I found is that you can actually trigger the reset line twice if I was just using a one tick generator, right? Uh, so the reset line would trigger and then it would trigger again uh, as the minecart was coming underneath it. So that would actually cause it to break. So if we use this little time delay here, 
then that kind of prevents that from happening. So again, we sent the reset. And, you know, so now you can just pretty much randomly add items as often as you like, and it should not break. All right. And so just to show you that you don't need a reset after you change the items in the index. All right. So I'm just going to add... Uh, Add a mossy cobble and a cobble. And then we can just go down to the input chest and uh, I'll just throw a few of those in. Alright, so it triggered the reset. And it's going to start to sort the mossy cobble. And then it's going to launch again and go for the cobblestone. Okay. So if you've already uh, made the previous design, then this is an easy way to uh, adapt it so that you don't have to worry about the game loading switch and, you know, now you don't have to worry about something being, you know, unlocked whenever you first come into the area. All right. So another idea that I had, so that one is based off of a time delay, which was the easiest way to do it. This one is a bit more complicated, but this one is completely switch based. Um, so uh, I don't I don't know if I can even explain this one, but. Uh, basically, what we're doing is triggering a dropper switch here, and you can see that we 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 have removed the uh, the two droppers in the back that acted as a, the minecart detector, so that's no longer necessary. Uh, so what's going to happen is when whenever whenever we put an item in, that's going to activate the dropper, push an item over, which is going to uh, activate a one tick generator, which is going to both reset the index and also launch the mine carts. Uh, and because that is, uh, you know, a dropper, it's going to hold the item there, right? So then whenever the uh, output triggers the reset line, that is going to trigger the dropper to move back. And this repeater here, if you have multiple items, uh, what would actually happen is, is that this torch would get stuck on, you know, and it would never get turned off. So even if we push the item back into this dropper, it would still never, you know, relaunch back into, uh, the dropper could never reactivate. So it would never push the item back into this to launch the cart a second time, right? So we're just using a, a repeater here, which whenever this is deactivated, this will actually turn the torch off and then back on, which will allow the minecart to go around for, you know, however many more items you have. So if we can just test this out here. So it reset, launch the minecart. And once it gets done, it's going to reset and launch again for the next item. Okay, so one of the differences with this model is that it does not reset after, after uh, it has sorted. So it only resets before the sort whenever you inject an item or input an item, right? So you can see it's unlocked now. Uh, whereas this one resets uh, after every sort and it resets uh, every time you input an item, you know. Um, so this one is a little bit different. It's much more complicated. Uh, and I went ahead and had some fun and because I'm not going to make a full blown tutorial for for any of these because <laughs> they're just, you know, too much. And I've already got like three videos out 
on how to make them. Uh, so anyway, I just go over how to make the sorter, uh, adding the you know the timing and all that stuff, uh, and then completing the index and then putting it all together. So I'm going to uh, just make a world download of this, of all of this here, and you know if you're interested, you can go ahead and download it and you know just try these out and see if you like one and play around whatever. Uh, or if you have any questions about how something is made, this is kind of a general model. Um, it's only here with the yellow parts here that it starts to deviate from the original and from the you know the little upgraded one there so anyway uh, that's all if anybody has any questions feel free to let me know uh, until then I guess I will see you in the next video